Hello in this video I am going to show you how to fix if Safari keeps crashing on your Mac. Safari is the go-to browser for almost all Mac users. It works well and is faster than other browsers due to its integration with Mac OS. But just like any other browser, Safari is prone to error. It often tends to freeze or crash, sometimes getting stuck on the dreaded spinning beach ball and displaying the Safari quit unexpectedly error. Here are 5 things you can do if Safari keeps crashing on your Mac. Despite restarting and closing other tasks, the first thing to do is force quit Safari. Force quitting Safari is the first thing you should do if it stops working. First, try closing Safari by pressing Command plus Q, or by clicking on Safari in the menu bar, and selecting Quit Safari from the drop-down menu. If you can't click on anything, you'll have to minimize Safari and open the Force Quit Applications window. To do that, click on the Apple logo in the menu bar, and choose Force Quit in the drop-down menu. Select Safari in the list of applications and click on Force Quit. The second thing to do is clear cache files. Cache files are temporarily stored files meant to speed up web pages, but too many cache files can actually slow down your browser and cause it to crash. That's why it's essential to clear cache files from Safari regularly. Clearing cache is one of the many ways to reset Safari to default settings on your Mac. To delete cache files, click on Develop in the menu bar and select Empty Caches. If you don't see the Develop menu in the menu bar, you'll have to activate it by going to Safari. Then go to Preferences, and then Checking. The Show Develop menu in Menu Bar option in the Advanced tab. The third thing you can do is Delete Website Data. You can select which websites to delete, but since there will be so many, it'll be easier to just delete all of them. To delete website data, click on Safari in the Menu Bar and select Preferences. Go to the Privacy tab and click on Manage Website Data. Click on Remove All. And now relaunch Safari to see if crashes again. The fourth thing is deleting browser extensions. Browser extensions are useful tools, but sometimes they can negatively affect your browser's speed because some of them consume an excessive amount of memory. It's best to delete extensions that you don't use frequently. To delete extensions, go to Safari. Then go to Preferences and click on the Extensions tab. Uncheck the boxes next to any extension you don't want to use. Remember that this only disables the extension. To completely remove it, click on Uninstall under the extension's name. The last thing you can do is updating your Mac OS. One of the ways you can fix high CPU usage on Mac OS is by updating your Mac. Apple frequently releases Mac OS updates that contain fixes for bugs and glitches. So, if none of the solutions above work for you, then you should check if any software updates are available for your Mac. Click on the Apple logo in the menu bar and go to System Preferences. Click on Software Updates and if you see any updates there, click on. Restart now to start installing it. No one likes a slow browser. Safari is one of the fastest browsers, but it's susceptible to problems, too. It often crashes, which can make anyone's browsing experience unpleasant. You can fix it by performing the actions mentioned in this video. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to get tech-related videos regularly.